Hi, hello and welcome. Today I'd like to look at white blood cells. And you're going to say, well, actually, that's quite easy to do. All you have to do is you have to take a needle like this. You have to take uh, your fingertip and all you got to do is prick your finger. Actually, I'm having some problem getting through my skin, thick skin here. Ah, okay, I think now, now I'm through. Uh, okay, let's see. Can I? I'm not, even, I'm not even properly bleeding yet. So, honestly, there has to be an easier way. And I'm really happy uh, to tell you. Yes, that I found an easier way because over here on my wrist, I've got a little infection, okay? And there is some pus in here. And what I'm going to do now is uh, I'm going to try to look at this pus here, okay? Uh, because this is really highly concentrated. These are really highly concentrated white blood cells. And uh, I think that'll be a much easier and a much better source. So now let's uh, have a look. I have uh, a little infection over here. It's already a few days old. And what you can see is that there is a little bit of reddening here. Okay. So this means there is some inflammation going on here and it's a little bit whiter in the middle. And this is, is because beneath uh, the uh, skin, there is uh, the pus and uh, these are white blood cells. And all I have to do now is, is I have to kind of scratch the surface a little bit to extract the pus. I'm going to use my little needle again over here. And then I'm going to uh, uh, collect uh, the pus uh, on the slide over here um, and then we can have a look at it under the microscope. So uh, let's go for it. Okay, everything has been disinfected of course and uh, let's try to simply scratch the surface a little bit. Oh, I might have to put the slide away a little bit. So let's go for it. Yes, and we can already see. I'm moving a little bit closer over here. So let's squeeze a little bit over here. Let's squeeze a little bit. Okay. And now let's uh, collect the white blood cells by spreading it uh, over a slide. I turn the slide around. And we can now have a look under the microscope. I'm going to add a drop of water first, uh, however, to dilute the white blood cells a little bit. Okay, now I can see thousands of small cells. Um, they look all a little bit uh, irregular and uh, much more irregular than the red blood cells. So yes, these are white blood cells. Well, while the cells are indeed visible, uh, the contrast is not very good. Uh, and therefore, um, I decide to stain them using fountain pen ink. I've got some blue stain here, and I would like to now try to stain the white blood cells. And for that, I'm going to pick up a little bit of this blue pigment, and I'm going to apply it here on the side of the slide. And uh, diffusion is then going to soak uh, the ink uh, into uh, the specimen. And uh, then we hope that the cells are able to accept the ink um, and uh, to stain them. On the right side, you can see the blue ink uh, just outside of the cover glass and uh, the light blue dots um, towards the left. These are the individual cells that already start to pick up uh, the pigment, the color. Um, and here it's a little bit larger now. Um, you can see that the cells are more blue than their surrounding because they seem to have an affinity uh, for the blue color. Um, I think uh, it's time to also clean the microscope optics a little bit because there's quite a bit of dust. Um, the round circles here are air bubbles and uh, you can see here again that the cells um, are darker blue than the surrounding. Um, and again a big air bubble on the left side and uh, the individual cells as uh, dark, uh, darker circles. And uh, you can see that they're um, all um, aggregated and uh, they stick together. I suppose these are some, probably some kind of protein fibers that hold them together. 
um, still a higher magnification. The dust is quite remarkable, especially on the lower uh, right uh, corner. There is a, a piece of dust, a, a string-like structure that is dust. So I have to get the optics cleaned. Yeah, so uh, what you see is a whole bunch of uh, white blood cells and I'm quite happy that it actually worked out well over here as well. Uh, you see the, the cells are significantly more blue than the surrounding. Uh, so I suppose, I don't know if this is the case, but maybe the, uh, the, the blue uh, fountain pen ink, pen ink has an affinity uh, for the DNA of the cells. Um, this could be, but I'm not quite sure about that. Um, but I've al also seen this uh, with other uh, cells that uh, they like to really soak up uh, the ink. Um, again, a lower magnification over here. And many cells, many individual cells. And one of the things that I like about the, the fountain pen ink method is, is that uh, it is uh, so easy and it's readily available. You do not need um, any specific pigments and uh, um, it's also a water-based ink, so cleaning uh, cleaning the ink away, if you should you spill it, uh, is quite easy as well. And it's, uh, as I said, readily available and it's non-poisonous. And uh, the cells are quite irregular. They do have uh, more or less the same size. But I'm going to show you now how red blood cells look like um, in, in comparison. Um, and uh, the red blood cells are much more regular. So these are now red blood cells. Um, that's a, a permanent slide, a commercially made uh, permanent slide. And uh, the red blood cells um, are a little bit flatter. And uh, because uh, they have dried on, on the slide, you can see that uh, their shape uh, is a little bit uh, also... Um, not quite as round as it could be and uh, one of the things that I just want to say is that uh, while there are a whole bunch of red blood cells here there are occasionally also white blood cells but they're kind of more difficult to find and therefore looking at uh, pus is a little bit uh, easier to see white blood cells yeah and now I have to clean up the whole mess here well it's also part of the hobby okay this slide I'll be of course uh, I'll be throwing it away um, I'll dispose of that but what I'm going to do with the tweezers it has been in contact with uh, infectious material so I need to disinfect it and I usually do this by um, washing it a little bit in concentrated alcohol and then uh, to burn away the organic material you want to move away the flammable alcohol and I usually burn it off okay I don't know if you can see the small blue flame um, but that should um, actually do it okay and uh, it's not hot enough um, to damage the steel, um, but it is hot enough to uh, burn all the cells away and all the bacteria and all the pathogens. Well, that is uh, pretty much it uh, for right now. Uh, I hope, uh, as always, that you kind of enjoyed uh, this video. I know it's uh, not always a very attractive sight uh, to see um, a pus from a wound. Uh, but I think it's nevertheless quite interesting. And I wish you as always a happy microscopy and have a nice day.